yeah, uh, the character yeah. now. You play Donkey Kong? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. one of my favorite games. I see. Yeah. We are rolling. All right. Um, I had to talk about since it's, uh, I guess it's National Pie Day today, and a lot to do with pies. I've made, I bake a lot of pies. You do. And my wife do too. And I was waiting to hear that one thing of how to bake pies, and you had it in the movie. It was and keep it's everything it. cold. If keep everything ingredients cold. Ingredients cold, yes. and that's like yeah. the secret. So I loved hearing that. Yeah. Um, and you, you know, this pie is th this movie is inspiring a lot of people to go home and make a pie right. yeah. and make a pie with with someone they love. Or for someone they love, but yeah. with is a good idea. It's a it's a very sexy scene. It, it, yeah, it is great. Did you, did you eat a lot of pie on the set? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Brolin brought a pie to uh, set every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And that's my pie. I want to say that is I your, taught your, that man everything, everything he knows about pie. <laughs> great, yeah. great. So and you know, the pie is kind of a symbol of of what the story is about. It's oh, yeah. not perfect. Oh, no. It's it's my pie looks pretty funky. It looks like a pie made by a convict on the run. It tastes great. But it's all patched together and it's flaky and, and these are people whose lives have been, you know, have been so far from perfect and they've had so many losses and heartbreaks and disappointments and they're patching it together and, and it, it's, it's, it works. Ew. It tastes really good. Now, do you enjoy writing screenplays as well? As I didn't write the screenplay oh, for this. You didn't write the screenplay? No, Jason Reitman oh, adapted it. Okay. Um, I you but it's very true to my novel, although I always have to say, the, the novel's the best, right, Gatlin? Yes. yes. Were you were you on set? <laughs> I got this boy to say that. Um, I was on set that, at the beginning and the end. Okay. And then I really, you have to let the director do his thing. Yeah. Where, what was the best part of going on set every day? Uh, wow, there's, there's so much. You know, I just, I mean, obviously it was shot in the summer, so I didn't have to do any yeah. school. So I, I think that I was able to bond with just not only in the cast, but all of the crew as well. I mean, everybody was my friend there. No, I, I think I was so comfortable on set, it was, it was ridiculous. You and Josh Brolin threw around a football a lot, right? Of course, me, Josh he Brolin. He said he's an incredible football player. <laughs> um, me, me, Mr. Brolin, I actually taught Mr. Reitman to throw a pretty tight spiral. I think he hit four yards at some point. Yeah. Was it great uh, working with uh, Mr. Brolin that you really like Goonies? We talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. but you got to meet a Goonie? I did, I did. I actually didn't know he was in the Goonies because he <laughs> looked so much younger. Yeah, so much younger. <laughs> um, he was telling me actually some stories about the Goonies. He said uh, at that point he was he was one of those, he wants to be, you know, one of those actors that wants to be in the role. And he asked Mr. Steven Spielberg, I think he said, um, when, when, I, when I'm climbing out of this cave, Mr. Spielberg, do you want me to pretend it's my mother's womb? <laughs> 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 Mr. Spielberg was like, dude, you're just, you're climbing out of the cave. It's not, like, you know. He's like, oh, all right, all right, I got you. Good, good, good. Uh, when you were writing the story, did you, when you came up with the characters and everything, did you uh, want something like that to actually happen in real life? Or did you like, I could see oh, this happening? Oh, I didn't, you know, it, for me, it was not an intellectual exercise, like I'm going to think up what happens to them. I wrote the story I wanted to read. And I, yeah. I wrote the story that I wanted to happen. Uh, I wanted to give... And that I hadn't seen before, a love affair for people with some miles on them, some, uh, no offense to the young, but people who've had a few heartbreaks and losses. Oh, yeah. And I was such a person myself. I, I was a single mother raising my three kids in a small town, taking care of everybody and nobody taking care of me. And I... Josh Brolin never did show up on my doorstep the way he does in, in this movie, or he, I mean, he makes himself show up on her doorstep. He kind of kidnaps her. Um, but I, one of the joys of my, my line of work, writing, telling stories, is that I get to, to imagine what, what could happen, even if it didn't. And I like to take you on this journey that you, that you would like to think could happen. And would you, that, would you say that's the best part of oh, actually writing? That's, that's I, I, was, I was writing this book, I was crying at my uh -huh. laptop, and I was totally with those characters. I, I hated for it to be over, but I also couldn't wait to get to the last page, so I'd find out if they were, what was gonna happen to them. I, I wrote it really fast because I just had to find out, and, and I, I hope that, I think that people watching that movie have that same feeling. I, nobody gets up to get another a, a bag of popcorn in the last 20 minutes of this this movie. And I haven't read the book yet, but I want to, but I, uh, does the book take place in the 80s as well? It does. It does. It does. I wanted, you know, it's, I, I wanted to give the perspective of time having passed. Oh, yeah. That, you know, that this, we won't, this didn't happen yesterday. This happened 
20 some years ago and we see what has become of the boy that's sitting yeah. here when he's a man looking back on this experience that changed everybody's life and and surprising things do happen which uh, of course I, we're not going to give away yeah of course and I, I really love that it, it took place in that decade because you didn't have the cell phones pagers they really you know and it was just like of course I am yeah. very plugged in I have yeah. to be I've got my iPhone and my laptop and everything but I loved giving for two hours, letting us unplug all of that and giving viewers a glimpse of a simpler time. When a boy just rides his bicycle down the streets of town and, and the pie is made by hand. And the big explosions are between the characters, not, yeah. you know, some high-tech yeah. $200 million disaster movie. I hear you. A question for you. Uh, seen a bunch of movies, probably a big movie fan. What are some of your favorite scenes in movies that have stuck with you since you've been growing up that you remember? It's, that's a good one. Um, let's see. I, uh, well, I, I love Up. Oh, I yeah. Think, and that's another, counts. oh, uh, Pixar. Pixar. Yeah, oh. great. Um, I just love how they kind of told it. And then I love the, obviously, the beginning. I think everybody does. That's, a, that's an instant classic. Um, what else do I love? I like, um, I like lower budget movies too. I've seen there was one called um, the Grand Champion. I mm -hmm. used to come to my grandma and grandpa's house all the time and watch it. It was about um, a boy raises a, um, a cow, and the cow is going to be sold for meat. Yeah. And so him and his buddies have to go and save it from um, from from being um, sold into the meat company, and and he ends up winning a, and a medal. And I've always I've always hold that close just because it's. You know, it's one that I've seen with my family since the very, since I was very young, so it's kind of it's stuck close. Yeah, and I know we talked earlier about you wanting to make a movie with a bunch of kids, mm -hmm. you know, have a fun for a summer. Is there any, like, remake of a movie you've seen that you would want to do? or? Yeah, actually, I like to be Fierce Bueller again, just putting it out there. Fair Whoa, Bueller. great. Not, not Excellent, that would be great. <laughs> and then um, I, I hear they're remaking Cowboys, so I, I, okay. like, I like to be in that. I can be in the room. room. All right. Well, thank you for the time. Pleasure. Thank you very much for having us. Pleasure. You've seen Stand By Me, right? No, he has not. I've seen oh, parts, he parts has of, to see Stand By Me. You have to.